Today we're very happy to have with us the Dean of Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Peggy Polonis. She's here from the American Community School of Athens. Peggy, welcome to New York. Thank you, Yana. It's good to be here. Well, we're very happy to have you because the American Community School, ACS Athens, is doing wonderful things. I mean, it's, it's a 70-year-old uh, institution. Uh, we're going to show a nice video on it. Uh, and you're going to tell us a little bit about the school and the mission. Yeah, well, the school is a, an American international school in Athens, Greece. And um, one of our main goals is besides providing high academic uh, caliber courses, we also want to build character. And I think that's what makes us a little bit different. Um, that sounds it, ancient Greek, the, yeah. the academies. <laughs> has this ethos, and ethos is something that has, we preach because uh, we believe that in the world there is an ethical crisis, as our president, uh, Stefano Gielamas, would often say. Um, so we really want to build character and help tomorrow's leader, leaders be uh, people who will run the world with, uh, yeah, with ethos. Absolutely. And that's our goal. Congratulations on that. We're very big fans of ACS. We support ACS. I wanted to ask you a little bit, since you come from Greece and you've been living this, the crisis and you're doing a lot of wonderful things also with the immigrants, the refugees rather, uh, in Greece, let's begin by talking about the uh, level of, um, of spirit. How is the spirit of the Hellenes these days? Because I know a lot of your students are also Greeks that uh, come from prominent families, not mm -hmm. only international students, because mm -hmm. it is an international school, but a majority of your students are also Greeks. Well, you know, I believe that the spirit of the Greeks is hard to be broken. So we have, um, actually our school is an international school that has uh, a third of different populations. A third is American, a third is Greek, and a third is from all over the world. What we have started recently is a program, for the last two years actually this program has been happening, it's called the Youth to Youth Program, and we've taken in on Saturdays um, unaccompanied refugee minors who come to ACS Athens because we believe we want to help them find hope again. But the interesting thing about this project is that they come on Saturdays and we teach them Greek and English and we have uh, sports activities and so on and so forth. But we pair them up with our own students mm -hmm. who also get to learn about their plight one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And so they work together and our teachers teach these young uh, men and women. And this is all done voluntarily. Wow. And we really, it was a pilot project that we began thinking, okay, let's see how this is going to work out. And it has lasted for two years, and it's still going strong. And, you know, people are very, very excited about this project. What has happened is some of the kids have grown. And they've become 18, and, and they, we also have created a, a program called the um, Youth to Business Project. And so through that project, they found jobs. Uh, through some of our prominent parents who own businesses, and they found jobs, and so they found hope That's again. And these are kids who have lost their families, of course, have seen atrocities, war, have all themselves been abused. So it's good to know that we can provide this opportunity for kids to find that hope in humanity again, uh, because you know, otherwise they're lost and we're lost, and society suffers as a result of that. Um, recently, we were very, very lucky to find, have funding from one of, uh, an, an amazing philanthropist in the United States. Um, and he uh, offered money to be able to have 18 scholarships for some of these kids to come to ACS That's Athens and wonderful. be educated. That yeah. is amazing news. It's so wonderful to hear that. When everybody comes together and helps, things are so much better for society. What do you think uh, is missing, as also a, a psychologist, what do you think is missing? Uh, right now in Greek society? In Greek society, I think what's missing, or I would say um, that same kind of need to hope and see a future for the young generation. A lot of our young people are leaving, AC, are leaving uh, Greece to be educated abroad, and typically many of them would return to Greece, but nowadays there's not a lot to do back in Greece. Jobs are scarce. Uh, people I know in our school we're hiring people to do uh, you know to teach with PhDs and in and we have an astrophysicist on our staff with a PhD who should be you know doing the kind of research that's necessary to do in that area but instead you know she is and she's very happy to be teaching at ACS Athens but the, pr the point is that jobs are scarce and the young generation doesn't see a whole lot of hope so as a therapist, what do you think, 
you, what can you do? You suggest uh, uh, some sort of seminars. Do you suggest um, empowerment uh, uh, groups? Do you suggest what is it that you suggest that you can help society have some hope? Yeah, I think the most important thing is to be able to instill courage in young people, but in general in society. And uh, a lot of that has to come from within. And as a psychologist, what, one of the things I do is tap into people's ability to think positive, but also be able to create a course of positive action. Uh, rather than you know be discouraged and become depressed and then just sort of give up and blame everyone else, uh, what we want to do is tap within, our, within ourselves, find the resources to think and create and act. Because thinking is just think, you know, one thing. Think, create, act. Peggy, Dr. Peggy Polonis. Think, create, act. This is wonderful, Peggy. Uh, I hope to see you doing some seminars. Uh, we would like to see you, and I think that uh, the society needs you, people such as yourself. Thank you. I do a lot of them in Athens, actually, yes. Great. And we want people, our viewers, to know about them. Where can they find out more about you and your seminars? They can email me at polonisp uh, at acs.gr. Well, we're very happy. We're very happy that you're here. We're very happy that ACS is doing wonderful things. We're, we're, we are just, it's an example for all of us. And this video that's going to follow is going to give you a little insight about what the American Community School is. Thank you. The American Community Schools of Athens believes in each student's unique talents and abilities. Since 1945, ACS Athens has been continuously developing an environment of cooperation, belonging, excellence, and collaboration for students, faculty, and staff. An environment where learning is the shared responsibility of the student, the school, and the family. We are a model K-12 international school that promotes excellence, innovation, and ethos in 21st century education. About 12 years ago, ACS Athens developed the Global Morphos Paradigm. The paradigm is consists of three inseparable, interrelated, and interconnected components. It is the educational philosophy, which is called morphosis, because the verb morphono in the ancient Greek means shaping. So therefore, the first one is the educational philosophy, which is a holistic, harmonious, and meaningful. What does it mean that? Meaningful that it is in relation with everyday life, harmonious that it is in harmony with our principles and values, and of course, we have to see how all of this can be developed. We've come a long way over the past seven decades in our commitment to education and are poised to meet the challenges of a continuous and ever-changing world. SES Athens' innovative and authentic educational paradigm attracted the best international schools of the world that they want to implement the new paradigm. As a result, SES Athens becomes the institution modeling 21st century education. At ACS, we believe that learning is a lifelong process. Our school, like our students, has been changing and evolving over the course of its life. ACS's innovative Morphosis model and Arestia leadership programs help develop future global citizens. ACS today is home to students representing more than 60 countries, and its student body is roughly divided equally among U.S., Greek, and other nationalities. Our faculty is also international and diverse. Most hold a postgraduate degree, have been through specialized training, and have many years of instructional experience. Diversity not only refers to different nationalities, but it refers to different mindsets, learning styles, talents, abilities, and interests. Part of the complexity of an international school is being able to teach to all of these from a common philosophy. Our faculty are very well trained to meet this challenge. Diverse cultures and mindsets come together under the American philosophy of education in a country deeply rooted in democratic values.
The American Community School, developing architects of their own learning to become global citizens.